Hello everybody, this is Alfie and Arts. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Violet. In the last episode, we finished up things at the school and uh, started making our way out to uh, take on a member of Team Star. Um, we were interrupted by that though in order to uh, meet up with some of my friends in order to try to get uh, Charizard from the Terror Raid battle. It did not go well, um, as you'll see at the end of the footage from last week. No, a lot less week from last episode. Um, the other thing to know is off camera, I pretty much just fixed up my boxes, uh, cleaned them up a bit. Um, let me make sure I'm at the right box though now. Okay, I just cleaned up the boxes. Nope, I'm on the team one. Cleaned up a bit of the boxes just so I can put the Pokemon where they belong. And the other thing that I ended up doing was I ended up meeting, well, going up against Charizard multiple times with that group. Uh, we were not victorious at all. The one thing you should note from any of that is I traded Grubbin for... Not Grubbin, uh, Gulpin. There we go. For... Da, 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 da. Where are they? Oh, they're at the very end. Right. Got for Azuril. Azumarill. There we go. So, yeah. The boss is hard, some may say even rigged. I would kind of agree if they people say it's rigged, because I believe it is. Um, that being said, we're going to go up against... I think we're going to go up against our uh, fairy type member of Team Star right now and uh, get this show on the road. I already know I'm not to break this episode into a few multiple parts due to um, me having to leave to go somewhere soon. So, uh, yeah. Um, what color are you? Orange. I do not have an orange one. Get a heal. Uh, please don't do this again. I don't want to be stuck in a perpetual you healing yourself. Grassy terrain, yeah, that's going to be protect perpetual healing of yourself. And that is immediately going to change the Mr. Terrain. I did take a peek at, um, the Pokédex, though. Saw a little bit of new stuff, not much, though. Dazzling Gleam. Uh Yeah, let's switch it out for the Storming Voice. Okay. This Pokemon cannot use moves on its own. When it sings with flowers, it becomes able, able to use Grass-type moves. Okay. I caught the adult form. I caught the babies of this. Uh, we did get close to this, so we saw the Cavill talk last episode as well of this. I didn't want to, but that is what it is. Wow. This... 
That's good, at least it's paralyzed. But it's still gonna be able to use that move. Of course it is. Uh. Only two, and it's gonna just heal itself. Oh, that's just it. Never mind. You're only doing it two times. That's weird. Let's try a ball. Probably not gonna work, but who cares? It worked. Nice. Lorantis was caught. Lorantis, the blooms. Sickle Pokemon. A lot of time and effort is required to maintain the vivid colors of its petals. This Pokemon puts its trainer's at trainer's attentiveness to the test. Nice. Uh, I think that's an orange flower, right? Is it red? Hell, I need to get a red one, but that's red. I do already have a red one, but it's the one with the special stuff, so. I guess I'm gonna throw a premier ball at it. Was it ex yeah, I was, gonna get it. I was not gonna do that, so. Uh, da da da. Throw a repeat ball at it. Yes, got me. So we got red. Blue and orange. You were less yellow and white. Red. This Pokemon uses red wavelengths of light to pour its own energy into flowers and draw forth its latent potential. Um. Oh. A, there's a white one. I think the white ones are like one of the harder ones to come across too, so it's nice. Uh, I guess quick. We'll try one. Probably should have just thrown it right away. Nope. I just don't want to accidentally kill it. Try the nest ball. Nope. They already used it, we're both gonna heal. Alright, I should be able to use a quick attack then. Yeah, there we go. Come on! Good, it's not gonna heal again now. Yes, sure. 
Oh, I wonder what the, the suit is doing down there with the Team Star members. Totel, the single bloom Pokemon. If it finds someone messing up a flower bed, it will attack them without mercy. This Flotel takes particularly good care of white flowers. So yeah, there's only one type left. Also, I'm glad that the trainers don't, like, attack. There. I don't know what that one is down there. I Ooh, it's a Sunflora. Ooh, and a Vespa Queen. I know I what is going to go after the, um... I know I was going to go after uh, the guy there, but... A lot of Pokemon I do not have in my collection yet are here. I need a catch. Gotcha, some floor was caught. Some floor, the sun Pokemon. Since it converts sunlight into energy, it is always looking in the direction of the sun. Oh. So many. I guess this is my area's one. To tell the truth, with them having all the different patterns, I never thought that um, Game Freak would really want to put them in the games anymore once they started limiting the national deck. But I'm glad I was wrong. Nice. Raja wants to learn acrobatics. No, we're good right now. Vivalon, the scale Pokemon. Fancy pattern. This Pokemon was born in a mysterious land. It scatters colorful toxic scales from its wings during battle. That Vespa Queen. And there's the yellow flower one. I can't use uh, Discharge on it because that it's a flying bug. I think. Also, I need to catch a male combi, but. Come on, Vespa Queen. Yes! Gotcha, Vespa Queen was caught. Best between the beehive Pokemon. Yep, bug flying. It raises grubs in the holes on its body. It secretes pheromones to control combi. Oh, 
Oh, something attacked me. Oh, it's a, a combi. It's like, hold on, hold on. You just took our queen from us. You can't go away. I don't know, I was just saying I need a male combi, and there it is. Alright, male combi. The trio is together from birth. It constantly gathers nectar from flowers to please Vespa Queen. Alright, now I need to find the yellow flower. You. Got a yellow one. Flotel, the yellow flower version. Flotel can draw forth latent capabilities of grass type Pokemon. It syncs with yellow flowers. I will come back to catch more of them. When it comes time to uh, evolve. Oh, there's Chansey. I'm gonna use a full heal on you. Before restore. There we go. Now it's time to go up against this Chansey. Wow. That chance went down really fast. Snicker smack. Uh no, this Ice Q. Oh, there's a lot of Pokemon in here I don't have. Skew. Is it I just crack his face? Yep. He's a penguin. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I was gonna say, why is this gonna regrow its. So is it a holy crack? Yep. And I can keep pummeling it. Try. No, I'll tackle it again next time. Yeah. What, what was that? That was like a city underneath him. I found Atlantis. Got it. Gotcha. SQ is caught. Oh, that's no, just a beach. What was that? It's you, the penguin Pokemon. Ice face. Yeah, ice face. If you lick the ice covering its face, you'll find it has a faintly salty taste. The species rode here on ocean currents from a cold, faraway land.
Had to fight a cloister. Let's see, this probably will just one shot it, right? Yeah. So don't use that. Got it. Second cloister. Surge is probably not the best one to fight this one. But let's try dig. Alright, that did a little bit more damage. Ball go. Hopefully, I'll catch it. No. Have to lower a little bit more. <laughs> it is kind of getting glitchy out there. Alright, we've been at this for a while. Let's try a time ball. Oh, come on! I already have one of those out there. Um... Again. Got it. Gotcha. Gotcha. Cloister is caught. Cloister, the bivalve Pokemon. Water ice. When attacked, it launches its spikes in quick volleys. Its innards have never been seen. There's another one I haven't caught yet. It's a small variant. Arm thrust. Ow. Yeah, I don't know why Arm Thirst is only doing two recently. It's just gonna do two of them, yep. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can see that one over there is a lot bigger than this one. Yes, got it. Olamora. Hold on, let's call it. Alamola, the carrying Pokemon. They float 
They flow upon the open sea. Many water Pokemon gather in area around Olomola. lagging really hard. They did not like me being in the water. And there's really only one Pokemon left I haven't caught that I see out there. That's that Gyarados. Can I find it though? Get up there. Oop. Nah, it doesn't look like it. Oh. Some of the dolphins. Hello, dolphin. I want another one of you anyway, so. Perfect timing. Those of you who are seeing. I don't see it anywhere, so I was hanging out around here, but back up. That Sylveon's gone, isn't it? I even battled and it disappeared. It must be during certain times of the day. I do need another one of you, so... I had a critical hit the one I wanted to catch. Oh, oh well. Oh, the lag in this area is surreal. Lieutenant. It's already full HP. Come on, the dead egg. Yes. Gotcha. The dead egg was caught. The 
The Dene, the antenna Pokemon. The Dene emit electrical waves from the uh, the whiskers on their cheeks to communicate with each other. When low on electricity, they curl up and sleep. I know where more Tetris cities are. <gasps> You're not surrounded by ba your baby form, though. That stinks. There's so many Pokemon over here that I have not caught yet. Of course, it's gonna heal itself now, so it's really not gonna want to be ca caught. The truth is, I came down here to try to not find these guys, but try to find those little. They're like these rainbow, like these different colored fish. That I really wanted to catch. Just gonna kill it with this. Oh no! Gotcha, little ant was caught. Little ant, the flowering Pokemon. No matter how many time no no matter how much time and money is spent raising it, its flowers are the most beautiful when they bloom in the wild. Pokemon to catch so little time. Not really, but I'm sorry that I said I was going to uh I want this one. Do I have to like sneak up on it or on an angle that's not looking? get this thing to oh, don't look at me all right how do you get the, to how do you fight this thing There's another one up there, but I don't think it's going to matter. Yes! 
Ooh. Yeah, I would say it's not fast enough. Uh without killing it. Um no. <sighs> Die fall? I don't know. Nope. It's gonna dig. I don't want to hit it again and kill it. It was just a pain in the butt to try to get. Yes! Gotcha. Well, Trio was caught. Well, Trio, the guardian Pokemon. A variety of fish Pokemon. Well, Trio... Has, was once considered to be a regional form of Dugtrio. Oh, a variety of fish Pokemon. Dugtrio was once considered to be a regional form of Dugtrio. Nice. And then there's you. Gash, you're done. Oh, I thought I muted my phone. Started raining. Should be used. I wasn't paying attention. It failed. Oh, I was trying to do rain dance. It failed. I would say it would be funny if it just tried using uh, rain dance again. Now your rain dance can work again. Really? You're more hurt than you were last time I did that. Yes. Gastrodon was caught. Gastrodon, the sea select Pokemon, East Sea. Fishers say that they, um, fishers say they didn't see many of these Pokemon in the past, but this form of Gastrodon is now increasing in number. It's another white flop. No, that's yellow. If I see another white flower, I'll go after it because they're just r really that hard to find. Other than that, I'm gonna head my, make my way back. Oh, that's a Dinette. Blue flower. Oh. 
I will return later when it is time for the young master's piano lesson. Till then, please give him my regards. <laughs> yes, Mr. Harrington. Hmm, I was not ready for this. And who might you be, young lady? A friend of the young master, perhaps. Young master, uh, I'm not sure. Young master. Ah, I see. Since you are, seem unaware, I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's fairy crew, the Rochbog Squad, led by young master Ortega. Um, Mr. Harrington, I don't think you're supposed to be giving out that information. No? Then please accept my apologies. Do you have any idea as to who this young lady might be? She's not, she's no friend of ours, you know. I think she might be here to try and take us on. Understood in that case. I take I take it you're an adversary of the young master. I guess that follow I guess that follows. Yep, that's right. Is that so? Well then. That leaves me with one last thing to ask you. Huh? Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a, a quick battle? Uh no, not yet. Ah, uh, yes, I suppose you must be prepared. I will wait until you have your affairs in order. I didn't expect to be, once again, just similar to the Cavill thing, I wasn't expecting to uh, run that close to it. Uh, Alright, we're gonna heal up. We're gonna get some uh, healing items, and then we'll go and take on the young master. Let's buy seven of those. I'll also buy 14 of these. All right. Off we go to fight the young master. I want to put Gunhild at the front. I'll put one and form up in squads around here. Uh, the lag. It's so real. Would you be so kind as to indulge me in a quick battle? I need some water. Yes. Splendid. Then let us begin. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Harry. My Pokemon was already out of his Pokeball before I threw it out. Wargroom. Gun Hill. Oh, I didn't look at the, the Pokemon's level either. He goes on Hammer! Go 
that is in that hat room. Oh, I forgot to look at the, um, the Young Masters thing. Uh, hopefully I can still do that. I can't use it twice in a row. Green kiss. Gigaton Hammer! Pokemon Trainer and Hurricane. Well, well. An outstanding performance. However, uh, be aware that young master Ortega's battle prowess far surpassed my uh, poultry skills. You would do well to take care. Now, if you'll excuse me. H hasta la... Uh, Ha, hasta la vista, or that gentlemanly guy used to be the director of the academy, I, I think. At least that's what I heard. Now he's like tutoring the boss or something. He shows up here sometimes to take the boss to his lessons. Hang on, why am I explaining this to you? There's no doubt you're here to make trouble, so I gotta go let everyone know. Hasta la vista. I see the guard has been dealt with. Good job. That base belongs to Team Star's fire, no, ferry crew, the Urushba squad. Their boss, Ortega, is the mechan- uh. Oh, yeah. I, I was going to say that right. The, their boss, Ortega, is the mechanic of the team. He may be the youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him, and things will go south for you quickly. He's also a real leave from the back type. He gets his grunts to do all the work, dirty work for him. But his weak point is his short fuse. Get him good and angry, and he'll march out to the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. Just, just though it, uh, oh, just, th oh, there we go. Just tough it out until Ortega shows up and go from there. Ring the bell on the gate once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe out the Rushba squad off the map. I wasn't expecting to run into you. <laughs> run. I want to heal up first. But I also want to check out... Ortega on the map. Storming the... Uh, so, Starfell Street, Ferry Crew Base. Storming the Ferry Crew's base. Ortega of the Rush Bus Squad. Boss of Team Star's Ferry Crew. Said to be the second strongest of the Team Star bosses, his family owes no his family owns an apparel brand famed even in Paldea. He consistently looks down on others, perhaps due to his cushy upbringing. I see. Oh, there's a Chansey. Oh wow, those things are fast. Take on Ortega. Oh, before that, 
<laughs> I don't know where that just came from. But before that, we're gonna take on this flailing. Train kiss. I like Gun Hill. The face Pokemon, Ice type. It prevents prey from escaping by instantaneously freezing moisture in the air. All right, back to healing, and then we're gonna go fight this guy. It's open, then it just then it just grows back. Wait, is that a? No, that's yellow. Are you ready? Yeah. Are you ready to challenge Team Star using the first three Pokemon in your party? Yes. Here we go. Beep. Call red, call red. Operation Starfall alert. Everyone, get into position to defend the boss with all your, you got. If rest assured, intruder, you'll deal with you. We'll deal with you without the boss's help. Unless you manage to defeat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes. That is. Good luck with that. Defeat 30 of Team Star's Pokemon. 3, 2, 1, start. Sad. When I played through um, Pokemon Sword, I, never, I actually kind of wanted to use this the Infinite Line, but never got around to it. Artifacts is a breach. It's all up to you now, boss. <laughs> the fairy car. It's cool.
Follow us to Team Stars Fairy Crew, Ortega. Huh, so you're Vivian. Okay. Talk about over underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a little bit more beefed up. Well, whatever, I don't care who you are. Not like I'm gonna lose to you anyway. If you think fairy types are all about cuteness, you're in for a nasty surprise. You're challenged by Ortega of Team Star. I promise I'll play nice, so don't blame me when you, this battle sends you blubbering back home. Training kiss. Oopsie, did you just realize how outmatched you are if you want to give up? All right, can read all that. I really like the song. Oh, well. It helps, but not what I wanted to do. Tough. But he couldn't heal out. I'm gonna just heal her up. I'm gonna heal her up. Gigaton Hammer! Dun, dun, dun. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, uh, this didn't kind of date this episode, but I just uh, learned today that they're actually um, doing an 11 uh, part series to wrap up Ash's story, and then uh, Ash is gone. From the anime, we're gonna be following some new people. Yep, that didn't work. It's gonna be interesting to see uh, Pokemon without Ash. And not this. Not so effective either. All right. Really tough is down. Ortega from Team Star is about to set out a uh, Dutchie bun. Nah, we're good. Such a spun. I have a taste of this slick move. Bet you can't handle my Pokemon's adorable strength.
Come back, Gil. Run, Hild. Come on out, Peach. Heavy slam. The baby doll eye me. Rubber room is up. What the heck? My, why is my team on the ropes? That's totally not fair. Oh, stop, Peoria. I didn't get this all cure effect on it. That stinks. Well, there goes Peach. Oh, I'm going to get to that phase again where it's going to be real touch and go. Confusion, right? Come on, Surge. You don't attack yourself, buddy. Oh, come on. Surge, don't attack yourself, please. 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 I've never seen it do that that many times. I, I, was, I was gonna say, this is gonna be one of those situations like the fire one where it's gonna be really, really touch and go. And, and I wasn't lying. I wasn't lying at all. Send you fan ears just out here to heal. Okay, Surge is back to fall. Thank you, Fenrir. Gun Hill, come back out. Bigaton Hammer! Do it. Thank you. Oh, 
Come on. No confusion. Come on. You can do this. Please. Yes. Not real touch and go anymore. Bring us home, Gunhild. Draining kiss. You defeat or take up some stars. I couldn't even see my trainer. <laughs> couldn't see Vivian. Uh, how could I lose? What the heck? About a year and a half ago. Ah, uh, what the heck? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? No, Amela. Oh, no, Mila. Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? I told you, it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile, and I was up all night building it. That's the problem's clearly they were not giving it enough juice. You designed this thing to be powered by two Chardet, but it's just too heavy. That's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks of our bullies' faces once we got moving. There we go. Uh, that's a shame. No, that's such a shame. I wanted to see the looks of, on our bullies' faces once we got it moving. I'm sorry. I really thought it would work. Come, good fellow. This is no occasion for a melancholy. Why? Why to make such a remarkable contraption by thine own hand? Genius, thy name is Ortega. Yeah, well, there's no point in if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all that effort would have zero payout, I'd have just asked Mother to buy a car for us. See, this is why people don't take you seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that? What? Mila, cool it, cool it, would ya? Yeah, how about no? I mean, we even put this in the code for crying out loud. When we started Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Or did you forget? If that hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. If we're short on juice, just gotta crank up the power somehow. Doesn't it take a genius, man. That's an that's e that's easy enough to say, Mew. No, Mel. No, Mealy. Do you have an actual plan? Yep. I'm gonna train up my Chardet and have them evolve. Their boosted firepower will get the Stormobile moving in no sweat. But the hour of Operation Star is not at hand. Will you succeed in time? Oh, I'll get it done. Muley, wait. You know, Mila, you know Mila shoots her mouth off an awful lot, but she means well. I know. God, this sucks. This sucks. I hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. If, if any of us squad bosses are defeated, that means we have to step down, and going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. Gah, fine. Not, not like I have a choice anyway, so take the badge already. You'd better treat it with the respect it deserves. Team Star, Team Star's Fairy Crew defeated Starfall Street. I'm not done yet. Here's my favorite TM too. Feel free to marvel at how awesome it is. You team TM079 Dazzling Gleam. You put it in the uh, TM's pocket. 
As in Gleam, the user damages oppo uh, opposing Pokemon by emitting a powerful flash. And, just so you know, you are the worst. Like, the most annoying person ever. But, I get it. You're super strong. I'll admit that much. Even You even br busted up my Snarmobile. Young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington. I guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? As it happens, I just lost my boss title, so I'm all good to head on home. Ah, uh, actually, a different battle brought me. There's somebody I would like you to meet. He's a distant acquaintance of mine. The name's Cat. Well, Clive. The name's Clive. It is his real name is Cavalbo. Okay, what's your business here? I want to I want you to tell me something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company. So why join a group like Team Star? What a question to ask someone you've just met. Well, my answer is the same as everyone else in the team. It's cuz I was being bullied. So, the academy really did use to have an issue with bullying. Who would guess, right? The school is all rainbows and butterflies these days. And the bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. Why? What happened to them? What happened to them? As the former director of the academy, I believe I am best, uh, I am best positioned to answer that question. Mr. Harrington. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them, and an altercation broke out between the groups. Though it did not escalate into a major incident, the altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hitherto unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that, that day, the students who had participated Oh, the students who had perpetrated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after another. But, but, there isn't any record of that anyone in the academy. No, I should, should not imagine it. My former deputy deleted all records of the incident, you see. What? Why would he, anyone do that? Just as I was puzzling, no, just, just as I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star and the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. The student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested that I ex uh, exonerate the other oh, no, exonerate, there we go, that I exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Huh? No. No. No one- wait, huh? No. No one told me that. I accepted the request and agreed to not take disciplinary action against Team Star. Then, I, I assigned 18 months. I, I, yeah, then I assigned 18 months of overseas study to the student who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of study abroad. This was not intended as a punishment. You understand? Team Star were the victims after all. I wanted the student to take some time to rest, so I had them return home to the gallery region, under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the academy servers. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. So he tried to cover the ho up the whole thing. That's terrible. After we discovered what had and what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. But the inability, to, uh, the inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on, on our past. I accepted the blame that lay on my feet and resigned from my position as director. The rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing in their notices. So that's why the current teaching no. So that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. You have my sincere apologies. 
Hang on, oh, Mr. Harrington. How come you suddenly decided to talk about this now? Young Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on in its current fashion. I merely wish to give you a chance to ch chart a better course. Well, there's no way I, I'd abandon my friends and going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. Your friends and Team Star must mean a great deal to you. Isn't that obvious? It's cause, you know, they're my greatest treasure in the whole world. <laughs> Vivian, it's me. I take it that Ortega handed over his star badge to you then. I see. With its boss no longer around, the Rush Boss squad is as good as finished. Even Ortega. I'm sorry. We're almost there now, just one boss left. The operation's been a huge success thanks to you, Vivian. And Clive has also performed admirably as your support. I remember him saying that your acquaintances have you known each other long. Yeah, for a while now. No, not all that long. Yeah, for a while now. Well, he's clearly a reliable friend. He, he almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. Back in what day? Which gang? Which gang? As you know, Team Sahara was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad bosses themselves, confronted their bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star, though you could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all bolted from battle the first chance they got. Scared spitless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after another, and Team Star ended up up the villains of the story. But that's neither here nor there. Forget I mentioned it. Now, about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. You earned 10,000 LP. You can now make even no make more kinds of TMs using the TM machine. Make good use of those TMs. They should help you take down the last remaining boss. My supply unit rep will be along soon to give you your bonus reward. Um, here I am. Here you go again. Arr your Pokemon once for once, will you? Ah! Wow, Team Star went through all that, huh? They just wanted to, the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke. The students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. If even just one of them had been paying attention then everyone was when everyone was getting bullied, they'd have been able to t t tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. But I guess the big boss was the one who urged everybody to face their bullies despite knowing how messed up the academy is. What a massive idiot, creating Team Star and just hoping their plan would miraculously work out. I don't know about that. You really think so? I don't know about that. I'm sure of it. Well, here's your reward. You receive lots of Pokemon materials. The next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Vivian. All right, let's head up to the Pokemon Center. Um.
Well, everybody, I know I said I was going to probably have to split this episode into multiple parts, but I think this is actually a good place to end this episode for today. I know it's a little shorter than some of the more recent ones, but hey, um, I mean, in the next episode, we'll be able to go after, uh, pretty, I'm going to try to go after the last members of each of the groups, the gyms, the titans, and Team Star. So, with that out of the way, I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Pokemon Violet, and I hope you have a good night. Bye!